Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to No More Films. Today we're going to continue our Apple Weekly News. Let's go ahead and just jump straight to the first article. Besides, there is actually an update available for the week if you haven't received it. If you go to your app store, you will be able to update to the latest version of iTunes, which is iTunes 12.5.1. And I have a video on that as well for you guys in the description if you'd like to check it out. But let's go ahead and dive straight into the first article for the week, which is uh, Tim Cook hinting at uh, the next lineup of MacBook Pro. It really He doesn't really mention any specific product name, but he does in an email that was actually um, sent out. It says, uh, I love the Mac and we are very committed to it. Stay tuned. The email <laughs> reads, and uh, this I'm not really sure on this because... It's actually an email. I'm not. I'm not sure how, who or how they came by with this email as well. But uh, it's just good to. I would say that it's rumored that something's actually out there. Maybe words going around regarding maybe a new Mac, MacBook Pro, or iMac lineup coming up to us, or in some sort of future announcement. Now, within our next article here, we have talking about the Apple Watch 2. It says um, this. Despite what you've read, the time is now for the Apple Watch 2. And when they say the time is now for the Apple Watch 2, I personally, I would agree with this statement out there because uh, the Apple Watch 1 was out and they've that was their first product, first time ever having any kind of Apple Watch or watch uh, wrist type of technology for Apple. And uh, they've tested it several th different new updates and they've discovered so many new features that can imply. And now it's waterproof and it's definitely got GPS and I think it's honestly Apple Watch 2 it, it is it would be a product I would personally purchase now within our next article we do have a list here of 50 iOS 10 features that were basically um, introduced within the iOS 10 upgrade and uh, all you got to do is <laughs> I have a link in the description for you guys of this and it'll have you can go straight to it but uh, my favorite ones were definitely the voicemail where uh, every call that if somebody left a voicemail it'll actually be transcribed and put on as text for you before you even listen to the voicemail you can also share and save the voicemails if you wanted to i just thought i would shout out that particular feature for the ios but there's several uh several camera improvements as well as like you can edit now uh, live photos and uh there's just so much here and the lyrics within the music app and i'll be having actual tutorials on these myself for the run in the future as well for you guys um uh, last but not least i'm gonna leave you guys with this uh, apple has recently aborted a policy in hong kong which allowed consumers to return or exchange products within 14 days free of charge and that's it for this video guys thank you guys hope you guys liked it and be sure to leave any questions and comments in the comment section below <laughs> later so let my life